eyes Mr. Newmobile here. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has finally been revealed by Samsung themselves. Could this be true? Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. It was only yesterday we spoke about the Galaxy Note 20, we have more leaks flooding and overnight Samsung finally revealed the Galaxy Note 20, we have more case leak screen, protectors, and news that Samsung can charge your phone while sterilizing before getting started though. Please like the video if you're a fan of Samsung and let me know in the comments right now if you think the leaks were correct which you think the review is going to be different to what we expected, but first of all, before we have a look at the rebuild Note 20 we have the leak case is from one of our favorite leakers Ice Universe. He treated these yesterday to show us the difference between Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra with what is labeled here is the Note 20 Plus this gives us a good indication of size differences between the two. We can see the camera module is quite a bit larger on the Note Ultra, and he advises us that there are two different forms and some details are for reference only. The image shows us just how full screen this device is going to be in the left. Protector looks incredible with no side bezels whatsoever. Next up was a huge mistake. From Samsung is the accident, he revealed the Note 20 Ultra themselves was initially highlighted by Max 1 back and it shows us the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra stunning bronze color. It's very similar to metallic copper colors we've seen in the past, they posted it to images. Of the Note 20 Ultra and its color coordinated as pen strangely enough, the images were posted under their official page for the Galaxy Note 8 and they were quickly taken down after they realized that mistake if you take a look. Now we just get a page not available here. It's great that the mistake happened though as it does confirm that the Note 20 Ultra it can have a triple camera setup along with a laser focus sensor instead of the time of flight this is can hopefully solve the autofocus issues people had with the S range, and unfortunately we didn't get a shot from the front of the Note 20, we also can kill up to 99% of germs and bacteria using QVC radiation, and also wirelessly charged at the same time. Unfortunately, it's currently only available in Thailand a price of $1590. Type that which is about $50 Samsung are expected to make this available globally, and I'll update you as soon as the day, but lunch is slowly approaching. To the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 we know so much information out way ahead of launch, of course, we previously had the information. On the design specs launch date and price of the Galaxy Note 20 is working to run through all of it now. Then hit subscribe now I'm going to get right into it, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch amulet display with the ponchos. Of the camera top center will many were hoping for the interspace healthy camera. It's not going to happen and it's most likely going to be for the S range that dimensions. Come in 161.8 already noticed as a flat display on the Note 20. I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you is when my most complained about features in the comments is of course the current display you can see the on the Note 20 record the volume and the home buttons on the right hand side, using the left side completely clear. We take a look underneath record USB type C port microphone and speaker grow, and the S Pen at the far left the same tray is now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20 on the rear with rectangular camera module, similar to the S range, is 38.1mm long by 21.9mm wide Samson reportedly still working on these cameras, so we don't have any confirmation on what they can be it's expected. It will contain either the HM1 or the GM1 from Samsung. We can of course either got three lenses on the left with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash you can see the back panel is curved on both edges with slight curves in all corners, and overall, it looks like a comfortable device to hold, and still a very premium smartphone. Next up, got my favorite, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus these vendors were provided by Pictalon as of this still some unconfirmed information. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with the largest 6.9-inch curved amulet display recorder, poncho camera top center, we had plenty of display leak from Ross Young. We have since deleted the tweets, and so we can only issue is an issue always been asked to remove them we're expecting, an LTPR display, but again with the ponchos of the camera, as in display camera is just ready, yet the Note 20 Plus dimensions come in at 165x77.2x7.6 mm, with the trim down bezels. It is pretty much full screen with the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth. The bottom layer is the same as the Note 20 with the S Pen at the far left, followed by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear. We got another rectangular camera housing we can see, it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say, I much prefer this one. It looks a little bulky with bigger lenses actually really like these camera rings, and I think it adds to the premium look the device we got to cameras on the left, which reportedly could be the Samsung HM1 on the right hand side you can see it through that camera underneath the LED flash. 
again the edges are carved on the back, and overall it looks like it's going to be a great device. We still haven't had any details on the pricing and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year, which can be interesting to see why they price it. The Note line is always the most premium of the range well apart from the newly added, followed the S range with pricing relatively high, and it sold less than expected it, so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though is that with the Note we'll get improved display back tree camera and general hardware, and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released. Now we can run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus. Get to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. Of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone, and actually one of my favorite releases this year will likely see improved design display at cameras, and more for anyone who's missed my previous videos, to quickly run through what we can expect for. We can run through everything we know so far about this is much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately so it can be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. Last year we had the Note in two sizes, which was 6.3 and in 6.8 inch displays. We then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming to underestimate we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display and of course, smartphone sizes are generally getting larger, so family sizes are going to rise to the success of last year's Notes, and also can predict, we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 21 with the Galaxy Note 20 Plus we haven't had any solid leaks or information, when it comes displays trying to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 27 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus expecting both models to be 1440x3200 resolution, and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display winnowed out Tennessee, an in-display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Classics for protection. When it comes to the self the camera the Note line actually let the innovation for Samsung last year can be in terms with a new design altogether. Many are curious with the in-display camera can be available for consumers. One Samsung has this technology already. I guess it would be introducing it on the Note line but unfortunately, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this stack is likely can be something we see in 2021, when it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 all the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called got no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung has stuck with this across the mid-range in their flagship this year, so the Note 20 should be no different Samsung has also been getting a lot more adventurous with the cameras, so I'm going predict we'll get a 108 megapixel ISA cell sensor with pixel bend technology will get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities to get an ultra wide angle for this why charts will also get a 3d time of flight that sensor will soon no doubt see better camera sensors on the samsung galaxy note 20 plus compared to the standard note 20 in the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 it can be powered by Snapdragon 865 in North America, and the X990 will, of course, be expandable with the Micros card given the larger size. The Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh with the Galaxy Note 20 as can be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20 second of the running, and 2010 in the form of One UI 2 it will be IP68 water resistant Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and number 3 and a half no headphone jack, and most importantly for Note finds it will be coming with a much left as a pendant using Bluetooth 5 we haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen, but it's no doubt can be finer with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years, we can expect the Galaxy Note 22 launches at the start of August 2020 release towards the end of the month, when it comes to pricing. It will of course be an expensive device price or expected start at about $1,100-$1,200 for the standard Note 20 around $1,400-$1,500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will get likely that will get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line as a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company really huge selection in the range of the premium asked and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Forward in the Galaxy that flip phone does not have to say it is that flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me with this is because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason, of course, that's just my opinion though, and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the Fold. Of course, has all the information, estimates we have today, but as soon as any solid information comes to light, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. I just wanted to give you my estimations along with these stunning vendors that concept artists have already put together as always, though, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts in the comments throughout. There is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and you want the Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra.